First step is to remove the negative connection off the battery and move it to the side. With a 10 mm socket remove the two bolts holding down the intercooler shroud. Now removing the intercooler there is a few steps. First, loosen off the 10 mm charge pipe hose clamps. Step 2. Using a 12 mm socket, remove the four intercooler mounting brackets. Step 3. Remove all four 12 mm intake bolts. Step 4. Remove the charge pipes from the intercooler. Then lift the intercooler up, which will allow you access to the boost hose and the two plugs located on the back of the intercooler. The intercooler should be free to be removed and allow you access to the 14 mm banjo bolt located on the fuel rail. Once the banjo bolt is removed, you can go ahead and remove the fuel rail relief valve with a 19 mm spanner. You're now at the point where you can now install the new G Turbo Fuel Rail Relief Blank. With a 19 mm spanner, make sure to tighten the rail blank very tight to make sure you have no fuel leaks. Then install the 14 mm banjo bolt back in to the fuel rail relief. At the back of the motor, you will be met with two earth straps, which will need to be removed to access the boost lines and give you the ability to cable tie each and every connection. Once you have cable tied the boost hose, you can now reinstall the two earth straps back on. And make sure to leave a cable tie ready for the reinstall of the intercooler. This will make it easier when reinstalling the boost hose and two plugs. Now it's time to reinstall the intercooler. Start with reconnecting the two charger pipes back on then to reinstalling the four mounting bolts. After that, you will be ready to install the four intake bolts, making sure to get a nice even seal. Once you have tightened the intercooler down, you can go ahead and tighten both charge pipes. To finish it off, reinstall the intercooler plastic shroud and the two 10 mm nuts, and lastly, reconnect the battery terminal. And it's easy as that. Good job!